So here's a quick lesson on how to use the Breville Espresso Machine. Pull it out and you turn it on with one press. What that does is get the elements started heating. Once this light stops blinking and these lights come on, you're ready to roll. But first, you need to make sure that you've got water. We've just got almost a minimum amount. Bring it over here. Press on the inner edge of that to open the top and fill it up. It'll need to get filled up just about to the edge of the gray ring on that bar. Okay. That sits flat, or snaps down flat, and then slides onto those two bars. You can see we're just about at max. We can also see that the coffee supply is really low, so just pop off the top, grab some beans, and pour them in. Ever. So what sort of cup do you want? You've got two choices. A single espresso shot or whoop, a double. Twice as much coffee. It's your choice to get the jolt of your desiring. So I'm going to change from the double to the single using the edge of this thing. Just going to pry open the and make the other one loose. Snap that one in. Now I'm ready to go for a single. I'm going to press this button to get single going and then just insert the handle into here and press once to start the grinder. And it automatically grinds the right amount. Like it would. This little compressor is held up by a magnet in a hole in there. And then you just lock in the handle and you're just about ready to go. Get a cup. Your coffee will stay hotter longer if you take this one step, which you don't have to do, but I like to. So this button changes or the switch changes into a dripping hot water mode. So that's going to pour hot water into the cup to warm it up. And then just turn that back to the middle position and give it a second or two. It feels pretty hot to me, so I'm going to dump it back into the water container. Reserve the water. I've got a hot cup. I've got grounds ready to go. And I press the single shot button. As it gets ready to go, it starts with a short, low pressure burst and then goes to full pressure. This looks like it's a little on the edge of the acceptable range of pressure, but it's still flowing nicely so we should be okay. You can see that that's dispensed about a, I don't know, a quarter inch of espresso at the bottom of that. So now we're going to match that with some milk. I'm using whole milk but you can use medium or low, I mean medium or non-fat. And I've just got about again a quarter or half an inch of milk at the bottom of this container. All right, I've got my cloth. I'm going to need that. I turn this handy dandy switch now to steam the forward position and wait for the compressor to start pumping that water. I'm going to collect some of it here in this rag for use later to clean off the nozzle. You can either choose to go dangerously and just stick it right in. Or turn it off and on. And you can 
to move this around and just leave it sit as well. The plan is to get this just a little bit too hot to touch. You don't want milk to end up in that pipe. So I try and withdraw it before it's done blowing and then turn it back on for one last little spurt of steam to clean out the tube. Great. Hold on. And there you have it, espresso and run. This needs to get rinsed. And it can just be left here to dry. And the rest is ready to go for the next time. You can either dump this out or not. And turn it off. And that's all for now.